Hi YouTube, Cray Gamer here, and today I'll be bringing you a slightly new episode, a new series I'll be making called FIFA 13 Tips for Success. And in episode one, I'll be using attacking and showing you how to attack. But here we go. I've got some clips here of goals that I've scored, and there's the first one from Alexandre Pato there. And I'll just show you how uh, to score goals and how to be successful in FIFA 13. But there we go. The first tip is to draw defenders away from who you want to pass to by running away from them. So with Neymar there, I have drew two defenders away from him, got past one of them, and bypassed another one with a great pass to Pato. This is a great way to put through balls through, but also it really works for quick one-twos and stuff like that. Here's another clip here of uh, a goal by Brazil here. A great pass from Lucas there. And I'll just show you how I found Neymar with space and a great finesse shot into the back of the net. But I'll just tell you how I saw that pass. You see the radar in the radar on the bottom of the screen there. You have to use that whenever you are in defence and trying to break away. Use that to find unmarked players to use the lobbed pass to. That is a great way to get uh, players in space and get players running at the opposition defence. Here's another example of that. I saw that Neymar was unmarked there and he could get a header off to Pato. And this method works so, so well. It means you can get players in space running at the defence and therefore using tip one, uh, making defenders come to you. But anyway, my third tip here. As you can see, I'm playing with Zenit St. Petersburg this time, not with Brazil. But there we go, and a good header from Kershkov there, just to finish off the move after a cross. But this tip is to use one-twos as much as you can. I usually do this with wingers, and it just means that even if, if your opponent uh, commits his defender, then you've got past him easily. If you're already past him, and you've got a quick winger, no need to like risk getting pulled back and losing the ball. Play a 1-2 and you'll be away. If they take you down, it'll be a free kick. But here we go. Here's my final tip of today's episode. And as you can see, we got a Hulk, uh, a free kick with Hulk, sorry, for Zenit and Peter Petersburg. And Hulk just puts it away there. Now this tip is to have, you have to have a designated free kick taker in the team. You can you even if he's on the bench, you put him into the starting lineup. He has to have good power and great free kick accuracy as well. It means that you can have well, you just take every single chance that you get. Games are quite close generally, so you need to take every chance you come across and free kicks are a big part of that. So make sure you have a free kick taker in the team with good power. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. This has been Craig Gamer, stay gaming.